Hi, Clay Daniel with Claiborne Test Prep and Tutoring. Got a CLT practice problem here for you. You can find many similar problems on our YouTube channel and our website. I want to help you think through challenging questions on the CLT. And this is a relatively challenging one, maybe more tricky than uh, deeply challenging in terms of the math. But let's take a look. In one molecule of sulfurous acid, the ratio of hydrogen to sulfur to oxygen is two to one to three. In one molecule of sulfuric acid, the ratio of hydrogen to sulfur to oxygen is two to one to four. If there is at least one molecule of each acid present in a mixture of sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid only, and there are a total of 14 oxygen atoms in the mixture, how many molecules of sulfuric acid are present? Now, when we read this question, we want to note not only the keywords in the question itself, but also the nature of the answers. And in particular, I want to draw your attention to this one because that introduces a new dimension into the question. It's a somewhat frequent answer. It's always answer D. Uh, I should say it's a somewhat frequent answer choice. And it is the answer maybe roughly a quarter of the time that it pops up. However, it can also be a trap answer because you might think, well, I can't solve the problem, therefore I'm going to say it's impossible to determine, but not being able to solve it and not having enough information are, are two different things. So we wanna think carefully about this and see if that's really the case here, that it is impossible to determine. It may at first, at first appear like it is the case because all we have are ratios, right? These are not hard and fast values. They're ratios. Two to one to three could be four, two, and six, or six, three, and nine, or 20, 10, and 30. There could be any number of atoms as long as they are in keeping with the ratio. So it may look at first glance like there's not enough information but we do have kind of an anchor here and that's that there are a total of 14 oxygen atoms in the mixture total of 14 oxygen atoms now that means that we really want to focus in on the oxygen part of the ratios that's the three and the four notice what those add up to and when you think about the word total the challenge with a ratio problem is thinking about the total parts, not just the individual part three or three parts or the individual four parts, but the total of seven parts in the, if we were to add these two together. I already underlined the word only, noting that there's nothing else in this mixture. It's just sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid. So the question is, can we get to 14 by adding up three plus four in some combination of threes and fours. And can we do that multiple ways? If you notice that three plus four equals seven, and that seven is half of 14, you might note that if we simply double it, it appears that there are two molecules of sulfurous, I'm just gonna put the the only difference is the ending, so the O-U-S, and there's two molecules of sulfuric because everything here is multiplied by two. Now, just to check that, though, we need to ask the question, are there other ways to combine the numbers three and four in some combination and make 14, keeping in mind that there is at least one molecule of each acid present? We could try to go three plus three plus three. And then, you know, we need a four in there somewhere. That gets close, but that makes 13. We could try adding up fours in some other fashion. Maybe put an extra four in there instead of two. We'd have three fours. But if you add a three there, that makes 15. That seems to confirm the only way to get to 14 is to have exactly two of each molecule. That's the only way that it works. And in doing so, with that 
hard cap of 14 oxygens, we found that it actually is possible to determine partially through the logic of ratios and partially through trial and error, we arrive at answer B. So please like or subscribe if you, if you liked this video, if you're interested in knowing more about the CLT and in having practice problems worked out for you so that you can sharpen and hone your own skills in preparation for taking the CLT yourself.